In this video, we're going to talk about eigenspaces. Let lambda be an eigenvalue of a matrix A. The eigenspace of A corresponding to lambda is the collection of all eigenvectors of A corresponding to lambda. From our previous video, we learned that the eigenvectors corresponding to an eigenvalue lambda are the solutions to the equation A times X equals lambda X. And this equation we were able to rewrite as a minus lambda i times x equals the zero vector. Now, if I want to find the solutions to this homogeneous equation, essentially I'm looking for the vectors x so that when I multiply by the matrix A minus lambda i, I end up with the zero vector. So what I'm looking for is the null space of A minus lambda i. So if we want to find the eigenspace of A corresponding to lambda, what we need to do is find the null space of a minus lambda i. Let's look at some examples. Let a be the matrix 1, negative 1, 2, 4. And suppose that we know that 2 and 3 are eigenvalues of a. We're asked to find their corresponding eigenspaces. So let's start with the eigenvalue lambda equals 2. So what we want to do is find the null space of a minus 2i. Now, a minus 2i is the matrix 1, negative 1, 2, 4, minus 2 times the identity matrix, which gives me negative 1, negative 1, 2, 2. To find the null space, I want to row reduce the augmented matrix negative 1, negative 1, 2, 2, augmented with the zero vector. But as we've learned before, we don't really need to have this augmented part. We just need to row reduce it, and in the end, keep in mind that each of the rows correspond to an equation that equals zero on the right-hand side. When we row reduce this, we end up with 1, 1, 0, 0. Now, to find the null space, what we want to do is solve the homogeneous equation a minus 2i equals zero. And we want to write the solutions in parametric vector form. So what I'm going to do is rewrite this row in terms of an equation. So I have x1 plus x2 equals 0. So my solution in parametric vector form would be the vector x with entries x1 and x2. And I'm going to rewrite x1 in terms of the free variable x2. So I have negative x2, x2. Factoring out the x2, I get x2 times the vector negative 1, 1. So the solution to the homogeneous equation a minus 2i equals the zero vector consists of vectors of the form x2 times negative 1, 1, meaning all scalar multiples of negative 1, 1. So we can say that the eigenspace corresponding to 2 is the span of the vector negative 1, 1. So this tells me that the set of all eigenvectors corresponding to 2 are multiples of the vector negative 1, 1. And we can check. If I take a times the vector negative 1, 1, I get 1, negative 1, 2, 4 times negative 1, 1, which gives me 1 times negative 1 plus negative 1 times 1, 2 times negative 1 plus 4 times 1. This gives me the vector negative 2, 2, which is 2 times negative 1, 1. So this confirms for us that the vector negative 1, 1 is indeed an eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue 2. Now let's try to find the eigenspace corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda equals 3. So again, I want to find the null space of a minus 3i. So a minus 3i is the matrix 1, negative 1, 2, 4, minus 3 times the identity matrix which gives me here negative 2, negative 1, 2, 1. Now, when I row reduce this matrix, I get 1, 1 half, 0, 0. Now, the first row of this matrix tells me that x1 plus 1 half x2 equals 0. So writing the solution to the homogeneous equation in parametric vector form, we have x with components x1, x2. x1 can be rewritten in terms of the free variable x2. 
So that's negative 1 half x2, x2. Factoring out the x2, we have x2 times the vector negative 1 half 1. So the null space of a minus 3i consists of all scalar multiples of the vector negative 1 half 1, which means the eigenspace corresponding to 3 is the span of negative 1 half 1. Now, if we want to avoid fractions, what we can do is take that vector and multiply by 2. So this is the same as the span of the vector, negative 1, 2. So some examples of eigenvectors corresponding to 3 are negative 1 half 1 or negative 1, 2 or any scalar multiples of those vectors. So something like 3, negative 6 would be one, negative 5, 10 would be another. So those are the eigenvectors corresponding to the eigenvalue 3. Let's look at one more example. In this example, we have the matrix A with entries 2, negative 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 5, negative 2, 0, 0, 3. And suppose that its eigenvalues are 3 and negative 6. What we want to do is find the corresponding eigenspaces. So let's start with the eigenvalue lambda equals 3. So again, if we want to find the eigenspace, what we want to do is find the null space of a minus 3i. a minus 3i is the matrix 2, negative 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 5, negative 2, 0, 0, 3, minus 3 times the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So all we do is take 3 from the diagonal entries. That leaves me with negative 1, negative 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 8, negative 2, 0, 0, 0. Now, what we want to do is solve the homogeneous equation a minus 3i times x equals 0. So, row reduce this. This gives me 1, 4, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, I have two free variables, x2 and x3. This first row here corresponds with the equation x1 plus 4x2 plus x3 equals 0. So when I go to write my solution, I have x equals the vector x1, x2, x3. x1, when I write this in terms of the free variables, gives me negative 4x2 minus x3 x2 is just x2, and x3 is just x3. Writing this vector in parametric vector form, we get x2 times the vector negative 4, 1, 0, plus x3 times the vector negative 1, 0, 1. So the solutions to the homogeneous equation are linear combinations of the vector negative 4, 1, 0, and the vector negative 1, 0, 1. So we say that the eigenspace corresponding to the eigenvalue 3 is the span of the vectors negative 4, 1, 0, and negative 1, 0, 1. So again, this gives me a description of all eigenvectors corresponding to 3. So for example, negative 4, 1, 0 is one eigenvector, negative 1, 0, 1 is another, and I can take linear combinations of them. For example, if I add those two vectors together, negative 5, 1, 1 would be another eigenvector corresponding to 3. Now let's find the null space corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda equals negative 6. So this time we want to find the null space of a minus negative 6i, or a plus 6i. So a plus 6i is the matrix 2, negative 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 5, negative 2, 0, 0, 3, plus 6 times the identity matrix, which gives me 8, negative 4, negative 1, negative 2, 1, negative 2, 0, 0, 9. To find the null space, I want to row reduce this. And when I do that, I get 1, negative 1 half, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. So I have one free variable here, that's x2. My first row here 
corresponds to the equation x1 minus 1 half x2 equals 0, and my second row corresponds to the equation x3 equals 0. So my solution is x, which is the vector x1, x2, x3, rewriting my basic variables in terms of the free variables, I get 1 half x2, x2, and x3 is equal to 0, so I have 0 there. Factoring out the x2, I am left with 1 half, 1, 0. So the null space of a plus 6i consists of all scalar multiples of the vector 1 half, 1, 0. So we say that the eigenspace corresponding to negative 6 is the span of the vector 1 half, 1, 0. And if I want to avoid fractions, I can take that vector and multiply by 2. So I can say that this is also the same as the span of 1, 2, 0. So that's how you find the eigenspaces for a matrix if you know the eigenvalues. And that's where I'll end this video. In our next video, we'll talk about how to find the eigenvalues of a matrix.